is Mark. Welcome back to my trailer upgrade series. Um, in the last videos, you saw me install a much bigger um, sink in my tab trailer. It's been working great for us. Um, but I, with a bigger sink, I wanted to give my wife a nice cutting board to go into it. So today, Amazon delivered this. This is a massive restaurant style cutting board. It is three quarters inch thick, really nice. Three quarters inch thick, 24 by 18 inches. I'm going to cut this down, route it, and make a, a nice cutting board out of it. The company that we bought the sink from sells a cutting board for it, but they're made out of wood. And anyone who's been around food enough understands that wood is not the best deal. Um, it uh, it harbors bacteria and stuff. Um, this material is um, really, really <laughs> easy to clean, doesn't harbor and doesn't grow bacteria on it. It's really nice. So um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to my table saw, cut it to the size I need to fit. Then I'm going to go around the edges with a router on this side. Then on the other side, I'm going to go ahead and route little troughs around the perimeter, all the way around, probably about a half inch size trough, and it'll catch, you know, if you spill a little bit of water, it'll catch it and keep it from going onto your countertop. But the other thing I'm gonna do is in the corners where those, that router, um, that little trough comes, I'm gonna drill straight through down, all the way through. So any water that comes off of the cutting board goes into that trough, runs down, and goes into the sink rather than onto the counter. Should work out cool. So, uh, next step, measure and cut this to size. Well, here we are back in the trailer. This is my new sink. For those of you that haven't seen it, much, much bigger. Stainless steel, that little plastic thing is out of there. That uh, weird little uh, faucet that was so hard to use is out of there. Got a great new faucet up here. This is working great for us. But like I said, I want to put a cutting board in there. So. This is the cutting board, and you can see I need to cut that down significantly. So I'm going to go ahead and measure. My sink is 16 by 18. I'm going to make that cut on my table saw, and we'll come back out and check there it out. There we go. Took it on a table saw. Makes a really nice cut. Um, little carbide blade will work great for you. A little rem reminder. Um, the manufacturer says when you cut this stuff or you sand it, you need to be wearing a particulate mask because these little pieces of plastic, they get in your lungs. Um, and since it's non-biodegradable and stuff, they'll basically stay with you forever, give you some trouble in your lungs. So wear a mask when, when cutting and sanding this stuff. But nonetheless, this was a uh, 24 by 18 piece. Now it's 16 by 18 and fits exactly on my sink. This extra section I'm going to route and put in our house kitchen. My wife will use that. It's pretty good size. Um, she'll use that piece. This piece I'm going to route so it sits down in the sink a little bit, give you some security here, you know, to keep it from slipping around a bit. I'm going to take an eighth inch route bit and run around the corner, make the corners even, and then I'm going to go around and make that trough we talked about. So let's get at it. Here we go. The router, eighth inch routing over bit. Did fine, has made this nice, real smooth all the way around. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this over, mark and cut the plunge so that I can drop this down into the sink a little bit, make a little lip. See that, there we are. You can see the, the lip that we routed around. Goes all around, this is the bottom. That'll make this guy fit down in the sink. Next, we'll flip it over and make that uh, route of a little trough. And we are done. We routed a little groove, a rounded little trench around there, drilled holes so that any liquid that drains toward the side will find the little trough and drain down into the sink rather than off. Nice little feature. I wanted to show you one more trick for those people that are thinking about doing this. This is a map gas torch, just a propane torch kind of thing. Um, if you gently, just quickly heat 
the areas that you've cut, it will melt them just slightly and smooth off any rough edges. It works all, on this kind of plastic. It works a whole lot better than trying to sand it or something. So I'm going to show you a little demo of it. Just like that. You don't burn it, you just run a torch around it and any sharp edges or burrs or anything just melt just so smooth it's nice. Anyway, I'm going to do that to the back side and we'll go put it in the trailer. See you in a bit. One custom sink install and one custom cutting board. Works really cool. You can see how any liquid that runs down will find its way to the groove and run into one of the corners and into the sink. So there you go. Travel just fine, won't go anywhere. Um, excellent. Not a big uh, big deal upgrade today, but one that will make my wife happy. Gotta have a happy wife. <laughs> See you next time, bye-bye.